Yellowstone is waking up. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear Leak Project, how the heck are you? There is recent news of a thermal spring near Old Faithful that is still erupting. And this is the fourth time this thing's gone off in 60 years. The last time it erupted was 14 years ago. On Saturday, it shot water, scalding water, between 20 and 30 feet in the air. The last time that was recorded was back in 1957. It's named Ear Spring. Also, quietly, not much reporting on this, Steamboat Geyser is still erupting about every six or seven days. Now remember, before night, from 1990 to, to the end of 2017 or the beginning of 2018, it went off 10 times. It had some activity back, I think, in the 60s, like a, a decent amount of action, and then it's been dormant, and then it went dormant for quite a while, a little bit of activity here and there. Well, since 2018, it has erupted over a dozen times, and it just went off the other day. But what's interesting, I think, about this ear spring, and I'm going to show you video footage in just a minute, is it's still going off. And they've closed a very popular destination in Yellowstone National Park, a very popular boardwalk, because of these recent discoveries of these vents and these cracks that are opening up around the area. So there's a lot of activity around Yellowstone. There's a lot of activity with volcanoes around the world right now. More than usual. The extreme weather, the collapsing magnetosphere. Now, some people, like myself, want to be prepared for the worst and expect the best. Hope for the best. You can go to My Patriot Supply right now. If you go to preparewithleakproject.com, preparewithleakproject.com, 92 meals for 75 bucks. That's two weeks worth of food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stock up. And then for midterm, long term, you can pick yourself up a acre or more of organic seeds. Get yourself a survival seed bank. Or you can call Camp FEMA because I'm sure they would love to help you. And hey, look, this is just an option. So a lot of people say, hey, I don't want to get ready. I don't want to prepare. I just want to call up Camp FEMA because I know they will protect me. So you've got that option as well. Or you can check out the link and I'll just leave it at that. Preparewithleakproject.com. So the park spokesman I can, I can read the comments now. You're a fear monger, man. You're scaring me and now you're trying to sell me food, man. Hey, I get it. If you don't want it, don't get it. Park spokesman Neil Herbert said Thursday that Ear Spring erupted recently for only the fourth time in more than 60 years. The last time, 2004. Ear Spring spewed water between 20 and 30 feet in the air on Saturday. Once again, the last time that was recorded was in 57 and it's still spewing at a constant height of about two feet. So that's the, let me, let me show you now. Let's go take a look at the video footage here, shall we? You can see if you go to Volcano Hazards Program, nothing to worry about, totally normal, totally green, USGS. I'm sure they would tell us if there was something to worry about, wouldn't they? But they are telling us about the recent changes to the thermal features that closes part of the Upper Geyser Basin. That's the boardwalk close to Old Faithful that I was telling you about. Let's watch the video, shall we? Here we go. We just look at it. destroy you. Whoa, what was that? Was that Yellowstone? Those two people are just like, hey, look, look, Janice. Oh, yeah, Bob. All right, so there you go. All right, no big deal. Ear spring. Ear Spring is a hot spring in the upper geyser basin of Yellowstone National Park in the United States located close to Old Faithful. 
now on rare occasions, Ear Spring will erupt as a geyser and can shoot rocks and debris as well as water more than 25 feet for a few minutes. Now, the neat thing is, though, is it's still going off. It's still, you know, just spewing some love. And you know, nothing, nothing to see here, no big deal. Now let's go to Steamboat Geyser. So, from June 1990 to March of this year, eleven times goes off eleven times. And once again, there was some activity like in the 70s or 60s, quite a bit of activity, then it went dormant for quite a while. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen times in the past six months. So it's erupted. It's gotten more action the past six months than it did the previous 28 years. Interesting. Interesting. So if you look on the map here, Steamboat Geyser, this is the location. I was out here earlier this year in Yellowstone. Had a good time. The animals were acting normal. There was a bear and it caused like a traffic stop. It was like being in a big city when I was in Yellowstone. It was just so busy. It wasn't really, in my opinion, the best time to go because there were so many people there. But it was pretty. So nothing to see here. No worries. You know, it is what it is. It's just totally natural. And it probably is natural. The question is, are these warning signs, are these precursors to some type of volcanic eruption in Yellowstone? Now, it doesn't mean it's all going to go at once. It could be just a kind of like a Kilauea situation where it spews lava for a month. It would probably be better if it was a, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it'll probably spew a, a much more concentrated eruption versus the Kilauea. But would it be better if it went off for like a month versus just a day? I mean, would it be better like, you know, two months, three months, just slowly oozing? Maybe these vents? I mean, why is it doing this? Because there's more activity down there, right? I mean, I'm just, that's what I would guess. There's more activity which on, underneath the surface, which is causing the surface to have these vents and these cracks that are opening up. And the activity that we're seeing right now with the volcanoes around the world, I, I don't remember seeing this in the 90s. I don't remember seeing this in the 80s or in the year 2000. It seems like this year, especially, the volcanic activity is really heated up, no pun intended. And the earthquake activity is really heated up or ramped up since the end of 2012. And that makes me think the Mayans were picking up on the sun cycle, you know, this 2012 date that they had set, December 21st, 2012, was most likely some type of solar cycle that we are in right now and we're experiencing the effects. Let's hope we don't get a, a major solar flare or multitudes of solar flares. That would be really bad right now with the weakened magnetosphere. But hey, it is what it is, right? So we've got Marshmallow Man, no big deal. And on that note, I just want to say have an awesome day. I just wanted to bring this to your attention. So don't be scared. Just be prepared. Be excellent to each other. Be the change you want to see.